So I am Elsa and I am Maggie, better known as Las Mil Amores or Las Hermanas Guzman, however you guys want to call us. Well, guess what? We said we were vegan and yeah, we announced it like two weeks ago and we can't hang. We couldn't hang, so we went back to eating meat. We went back to our old ways, so we're going to do King Taco. Our favorite King Taco. King Taco is like the best tacos like out life. there. Yes, we like love them and we're just... And look at Coca de Dieta. We just couldn't take it, okay? Estamos como la, la canción de la dieta. I know. Okay, so we are going to eat is... These are yours. Sopes con queso. I don't like mine with queso at all. So we're eating sopes, sopes. al pastor. We're eating tacos. Al pastor. So I'm eating two sopes. She's eating two sopes. We're doing two tacos. We're eating two one burrito al pastor. And for the feeling cheese touch, we have our nachos. Yeah, the nachos are over here. The quesadilla al pastor is for later on in the night. Yeah, for like a snack. And we have our nachos al pastor. There they are. Mm -hmm. okay. Hopefully you guys enjoy la comida. Yeah, so this is actually something that people on Instagram and Facebook messaged us. And we were they were telling us like, hey, you guys should do a King Taco mukbang. And we were like, what? And they were like, yeah, King Taco mukbang. So we went ahead and we've seen a couple of people do the mukbang. But I don't know, we were just like... Not, we were like, I don't know, like to show everyone what we eat. Yeah, we're gonna show everyone what we eat. I remember that when we were chiquitas, my mom la engañaba y le decía a my sister, quiero, yo quiero cuatro tacos más. Y ella, my mom compraba two tacos, and you know how all the king tacos, they have two tortillas? They have like two tortillas. My mom used to split them, and she would tell me that she would feed me to only two tacos. Tacos. So this is actually a challenge that a couple of people, because we're always uploading pictures of like how much we eat, and they're like, yeah, right, you girls don't eat that much, and we're like, yeah, we do. So we actually get salsa roja on the side, like the big ones, but today the people at Quintaco were actually really nice. So she loves salsa roja. I love salsa roja, so you guys are gonna see like what like a true G, how we eat. Okay, so I love like red sauce. It's like, I just love it. I'm gonna start off with the tacos. I'm gonna put green sauce. Okay, it has gold. I'm gonna like minimize my life. It has fat. Like, I really go through the meat and like it has to have like no gordo at all. I'm gonna like, minimize so like my lip gloss because I don't wanna like scam on my tacos. Give me the salt pieces right there. I love salt. And we're putting the red sauce. A lot of red sauce, but not as much as my sister. So here I go I'm gonna tacos, put right? um, cilantro and cebolla, although I really so ask I them. have some cilantro and cebolla. Salt. We have no lemon. On the side. No, tienen, no tenemos ni lemon ni rábanos. But, oh, okay, so here I go. The jalapeño. Mmm. It doesn't have enough red sauce. Mmm. So you like as a, as a like a dipping sauce. Mmm. Mmm. And the pastor like the best. I love pastor tacos because. I don't know. It has like a lemony taste that I love. I've always, the first time I ate King Taco Tacos, or Pastor, I was like four. So you guys hear like noise on the background? It's my parents. They're listening to like the Rata Marti taste in It has gordo. Sorry guys, I spit up a gordo. I don't like gordo at all. Look at it. We would go get Chinese food, remember? And it would spill all over us. Do you like, um, se viga bien en el gordo, her. Can you inspect mine? Is yeah, I'm great? like a gordo inspector. Oh, yeah. Ever since I was little, 
I would like make sure that like none of my meat had gordo, like my mom had to like go through it. She had to like go through it. Now I'm like the inspector. Like, each time I go somewhere, like I go and I, and I tell them, Mira, cuatro sacos al pastor de la bola, and like it has to be like cut right. And today actually the girl was kind of rude. She was like, they're off from La Bola. And I'm like, no, I know, I know that they're off from La Bola, but that's how they had told me to order them so they could be like freshly out of La Bola. And she looked at me like I was like ridiculous. And I looked at her like, girl, you work here, you should know better. I remember once I was dating this guy. Yo me acuerdo que he would tell me, let's go eat King Taco. And I was like, all right. I didn't really like it. I was on two McDonald's. Me and my store on two McDonald's. She liked King Taco, but me not really. And this vato loco, as he would say, he ordered un burrito. Y les dijo, Deme salsa verde al lado. I was like, is, is this fool gonna put any salsa roja inside of the burrito? No, él se mantenió con salsita green, así, así a little bit. And I was like, no estará bien este guy. I had an ex boyfriend. I still talk to him, we still talk to him. His name is Luis. Saludos, Luis. Nos llevó a comer King Taco in Maywood. Um, he had a friend named Manuelito. Remember him, Luis? Little head. And this guy was like so nice, but me and Mr. were always like real evil. And when the guy got up from the table, we started biting his torta because we had never had none. And my ex boyfriend used to tell me, like, Ay, que gachas, you guys are so mean. And we kept like eating, and by the time the guy came back from the bathroom, his torta was like gone, so he had no dinner at all. The guy Manuelito, he hated us after that. Ya no los amaba. How many have you ate? Right She's crazy. Her, Her asshole good. is gonna burn tomorrow. They're really good. So I'm gonna go my two tacos. We're gonna go into a sopito. We usually like. Oh, you decide to go on the sopes? Wait, let me just fix mine. Oh. Yeah, put some sauce and cilantro on mine too today. I'm I'm really specific on my food. Like, I have to have like one and one of cilantro, one and one of um, green sauce, a tad bit of the red sauce because like if I overdo the red sauce, she like, gets like heartburn. To be honest. I'll get a heartburn in the night, and I'll, but I keep eating it. Look, and then my mom tells me, like, no, let's just come to sad. No, let's just come to sad. You know, and I don't know what. I'm semoy cilantro, so I'm going to hook it up like virtually with the semoy cilantro. Yeah, so, yeah, you were saying about Manuelito? Yeah, okay, so. Can I get another red sauce? Here, you can use my. Thank you. So, Manuelito, we it's bit. Like the gordo. That, oh, please, inspector. Inspector Gordo, that's nice. Inspector mm. Gordo. I remember that Manuelito, after we bit his torta. No, my God. Mm, sorry. After we bit his torta, <laughs> there he never like wanted to talk to us anymore. In Potrero, mm -hmm. he would like shine us off. Um, mm. um, oh, he and wow. this guy, Luis, we were together for like four years, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were like him for four years. Um, mm. The four years that we were together, Manuelito, like, he did not want to hang out with us. And this guy, Luis, was like, I'm gonna let you go with them. And I'm gonna, like, let's go out with them. And then he was like, hell no, those girls are horrible. And he went to the barrio because we were from East LA and he was from Culver City. And we were like, dude, calm down. These are fucking good. I love the Like, my mom, I miss that mirada. He's looking at like we're crazy. Um, show to us. No come tanta. Tanto jalapeño, nos va a hacer daño. My dad tells us que le quitemos las semillas. Sorry, we didn't be vegan. Impossible to be vegan. Remember that one time that one of King Taco? We were like teenagers still. And that one friend. 
Hurry that big burrito. Mm-hmm. They're all the same style. Yeah, but they're like go melona. Like everybody mm-hmm. knew that like if you bought of them, you had to give Maggie something. No porque estaba pobre, pero así era Maggie. This friend was like hiding the burrito porque no le quitaba nada. Uh-huh. Um, we were all Indian. And uh, one of my friends told her, damn, Borda. Mm. She wasn't fat, but he just called her a gorda. Mm. Why you gotta be stingy with the food more? Maggie's are eating, already eating two burritos anyway. And we just started making fun of her. Cause like she she hid the burrito like in her sweater. You know how like those pretty sweaters have it right here? She was all mad. Mmm. I love pink that one. I remember. Mmm, I get it. I saw that Mmm. When I. Oh my god, it's so good. I remember I got a job at Burger King in Boyle Heights the summer before I became my 11th grader. And I would always bring me and my sister burritos and this green car didn't like. She would tell me, no, bring me chicken sandwiches from Burger King. And I made her fall in love with King Taco. I like practically like stuffed it into her face and she fell in love with that. The chile is so good here. With the new break, yeah. Me decía, pues a mí me gustan las papitas con con mucha, mucha salsa de King Taco. And I was like, what are you talking about? So I started trying it. And one day, one day he called me, told me, "Sabes qué? Ya ni siquiera voy a correr en meter las papitas al 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 chile de quinta que le dije, why? Es que se como sangre. She just told me the name of the guy that did that. He was so weird. Mm. He said he would take a shit. He would tell the toddler. Gordo guys, mm. gordo. I have to like inspect it. What she means by gordo is like like the fat. You know, like when you bite into the meat. Look at it. I'm vegan again. I'm the repollo. Oh my goodness, this is so good. We actually, this is like our diet. The red sauce. Oh, yeah. Right now, I'm overweight. I'm 115. No, yeah, but I'm usually like, you know, like 105, whatever. This is actually our diet and it makes a shit. We saw my king taco today, it has a lot of water. I'm going to say, now I'm hiring. I'm going to hire like new people. I'm so surprised my dog hasn't cried. Mm-hmm. Mm. He's like super attached to him. Oh yeah, so we just moved here? Mm. We, just, we, go, we went to the King Taco Rivera and Pico Rivera. Mm-hmm. Mm, the last time actually, the kid that attended me, he was really nice, but he gave me like tacos de asada and I ordered like al pastor. It was, it was an asada, I think. I think it was like asada, like lengua. I don't know what it was, we still ate it. It was some sort of meat, but it was not al pastor, but like he was a teenager and like we have like a soft spot for teenage with, you know, we work with them. We just didn't want to say anything, but I should have. I usually yeah. always do. Yeah, she's like the one that. Mm. Si algo sale mal, she'll complain, so be careful. She's just awkward. Mm, he's dog. Okay. Now I'm waiting for her because we split the burrito in half. And there's time for that. She tells me, are you done? Are you sure you're going to continue eating him? Because I see you and you're making stuff face. But she means by that, like I start going. Because I'm usually the constipated sister. And her nausea, <laughs> she takes shit like 10 days, 10 times in one day. 
my mom and my dad are like, we'll throw this in the baño. Uh-huh. When I can't wait, I'll gain weight like, like here. Pack. You know, I'll gain weight like in my brazo. But I always have like a flat stomach and it's probably because I take like 30 shits in one day. Wow. So, we just move here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the king taco, well, what we took up on is great. Probably the best king taco is the one on 3rd Street in East Los. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. This is more red chili, right? The one over there? I don't know that South Central, I don't know if they still call it South Central, oh, but it's South Padre. The one's um, in San Pedro. That's the best thing to I'm sorry. I'm getting like uh, the cebollitas. Mm. It's so good. Relaxing for me. What? Mm-hmm. Relaxing for me. Relaxing. My dad's like, I'm gonna lose him. Are they made one? I'm gonna lose him. Mm-hmm. 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 M
Remember they sell like um, conchas and all that? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I've never had that. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. My dog. You guys are probably wondering what this is, huh? Oh. We order two extra chiles because all I'm the sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. We eat them. Mm. Like on ensaladita and stuff like that. We like crackers. We're always like on the go. So like we love it. So. We don't really eat some meat of the nachos. We kind of just like order nachos al pastor. Uy, se cayó. But you kind of get like the flavor of al pastor, like the onion and all that. Mm-hmm. This is a lot of craving this week, huh? I'm about to get my period. And I'm on it right now, guys. So, it's like the chango. The chango está sangrando. You want a burrito or do you want to save it for later? Or do you want it? Um, can I save it for later? So, finish the nachos. Yeah, so we will do this. Like, we'll order a lot of food. We still have a burrito. And we have. Two quesadillas here. Al pastor. Hope it's al pastor this time. And another one. And we'll like eat it later. Because I have to be ready. Mom, turn off the air conditioner. Mm. Huh. For a long time, getting hot. I used to get a hot for my birthday, but yeah, since I eat it almost all the time, so I don't get it. Usually for my birthday, you usually get more salt. I love the salt. For my birthday, I usually get caldo de almondigas, which I love. And, mm, I'm so sorry guys. I'm actually hating when I do that. I'm so sorry. I get really gassy. Yeah. Mm. 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 My our our neighbor, the one that dad would call the girl with the with the rollerblades. I uh, we we used to hang out with his cousin, and one day his cousin told my friend, uh, Maggie burps louder than you, and they told him, oh yeah, they told him she burps louder than you, and I guess he was like, yeah, right or whatever. So we like got on the phone and he burped and I burped, I won, but that's like the one of the first interactions we ever had. Well, he was cool. He was pretty cool. He was always over my house. I got him into my party car. Mm. He was more of a girl than I was. You know, La Bolsa? Mm. And middle school, Carl on those six went once and I actually won like a. Remember the. The cake of soda that I went home with one day. Mm-hmm. It was because of that because I burped loud. She always burps, it is come on. Some ants. I can't believe that. I used to like on Omar. I can't believe that. I actually wanted to like run into him in like the red carpet. 
When I was growing up, I was anorexic. No people are dying of hunger. Mm. I used to be like anorexic, like if people want to pass in this video, I'm sure that they'll comment. Me ponía no comer nothing. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that. All my food, I'm going to take a little napkin. So people from the past follow us. Like, we, yeah, we like, subscribe to a lot of them. And they'll probably get confirmed. Like, your stories that we'll pretty soon upload. Um, my sister, I do that she practically dragged me into music. But I would have always preferred to me to, for a her manager, for her to, like, being like the singer and everything. Well, because I, I'm the one that like, she's like the writer. She's just the songwriter. She's the one that comes up with the idea. She's like the director of the videos. But I'm like the one that moves like the dueto when I used to. And I'm the one that would like get us all gigs and everyone. And like, um, I actually got us an interview with Pepe Garza because I did him like a funny note and he actually replied back and I was so surprised and it was through Twitter and he was like, yeah, I'll see you guys, whatever. Um, I, I, like, I like to encourage my sister, like, speak up, you're like, a, you know, you're a survivor, you're like a great example and, you know, talk about like everything you have been through because a lot of girls will relate with you, like everything that you've been through because she's been through like a lot. Mm. Thank you, sis. Mm. Like, me and my manager, I've always wanted to get up. I always wanted to be a singer since I was like super little. People that know me, like from Rowan, Avenue Elementary, where everyone was like bullying me, but I was like in chorus there. We have a new song. School where I was in home studies, mujeres y hombres. I was also in singing and also in sure when I was in sure high school. You were in choir? What was that? Um, sure. Uh -huh. You had to try out. It was like, you had to try out if you wanted to be in the main school choir. Um, people that didn't make it, they could still be in the class, but I made it because I had to. Move that would have been me. But, yeah, maybe it would have been good to be my manager. But, uh, um, because she likes it or she does it, but I'm always going to try her. She was, her, she was my manager when I was a teenager. She would tell me, you have to be popular. You can't be like me. You have to have an image. So everyone, she's the creator. <laughs> I would have just been like, Tomboy, no? Like a chola tomboy? Oh my god, friend. Mm -hmm. Girls were usually more like despiertas to like, love. <laughs> that, uh, that guys, I remember them. I'm like, when I'm gonna finish the half of the burrito, okay? So, I remember. Why are you taking the red cells away? Oh. And later you're gonna take a big shit in the bathroom. But there's two. Who cares? But the whole house is gonna smell like shit. Like he, guys, for real. Like when we take a shit, you could really smell like the alpastor. Like you could. So really what? You want to eat it now? You want to eat it later? I want to eat it now. So this kid, she okay that. And they say I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Hungry. He like, traigo la food, no se la come. She's worse than my mom. My mom, my mom, my mom, she eats, for real, she does. She'll eat like half of a taco, me da un burrito and one soap, and that's it. And then like, she'll be picking food all day, and we're like, why don't you just eat like complete when you have the chance? Sorry, guys. When you have the chance. You want to do what we always do? 
to get the plate and we'll make that to it. You're gonna have you're gonna get up, you? Ma! Yeah. Sorry guys, when we eat, like I have to stay yeah. sitting down or else like oh shit. Ma! Yeah. <laughs> Por favor, nos puedes traer dos tenedores y dos um, platitos por la hora. Que son mi mamá, me hace comer mitad de un taco, mitad de un burrito, mitad de un sope y mitad de un nacho. Mm. Look at it. She looks pretty with that makeup on. Deja a largo, por chiquitos, please. Bueno, con un chile solo. So, we're germ folks. Like, we have to go through, like, the. Sure, you can break the napkins. I have to send it back. Chocolate. So, my mom yeah. will go through like. Send it back. <laughs> so, my mom will go through like. She goes through like a jar of Nutella per week. Ma pasa en un camera. So, like, we get the burrito. Look. Give me the bigger one. Give me the bigger one. Isn't this a bigger? And give me all that food I dropped. So, it has You're taking my beans. I'm just gonna get the rice. I love like beans. Okay. So, what were we talking about? Yeah. So, my sister has been through a lot. She kind of created me as. You know, when we were growing up. Because she was never really able to be herself in school. And at the time that, like, um, we would hang out with one another a lot, she was going through, like, a lot of problems at that time. Um, I guess you're a teenager, so you don't know how to express yourself. My sister has gone through, like, a lot. And, like, I hope she uploads the vlogs that I've been telling her. I will, I will. Um, I honestly, I never, like, I'm a, how can I explain to you guys? It's not that I had a perfect life and she didn't, it's just perfect. that we, she's perfect. Except for ninth grade. I okay. got bullied in ninth well, grade. That, my sister's out. Could you guys believe it? Look at She got bullied in the ninth grade. Like, what? Let, let me say my version. Got but in it was the in the story. No, the story. she got bullied in the ninth grade. Well, we both got bullied and in the ninth grade. she got grade. bullied in the ninth grade, you guys, she went back her senior year. She was like, oh, should I go back? Should I go back? She went back, you guys, and she became a cheerleader. Without even trying out. And she got, like, a bunch of friends right away. Did you guys know that all my life, all my life, I just had... Friends? We have bricks that? Oh, look at it. I told you. My shots are wrong. I'm going to let you have that. Um, could you guys believe it that me, all my life, all my life, I had like real friends? You didn't have real friends. Probably the neighbor. He was a guy. Alonzo? Yes. He was really nice. Then. Um, him. Eddie. 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 Hi, Eddie. And probably um, Marlene Fernandez. I love Christina her. Christina Flores and yeah, Luna. Christina Flores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no friends. I never had friends, you guys. Never. Because all my friends would torture me and they would like haunt me. And they, they were like those abusive type of friends that like tell you what to do and you better do it or else. And like, I have never really had true friends. So my sister is like so lucky that ella she got pumped out of school in the ninth grade, se fue, and she came back and she became a cheerleader. And también she had a bunch of friends. How are you not perfect, Maggie? But after I gave her the makeover in middle school, she basically took over. She won for like most of the track. Yeah, but like my main goal in high school was like to be like popular. Me and my friend, my, one of my best friends at that time, hi Sarah Lopez. So me and Sarah, we recently, she reached out to us and which was kind of odd because we didn't end up in good terms. Um, she used to, she was we there were, for me a lot. One day I, I might yeah. talk about it. Uh, she was actually a good friend. 
Um, I actually want to apologize to Sarah if um, at any moment I was offensive to you. That, that one like time over that you. I left when you got in a fight with that certain person. I'm really sorry, Sarah. Um, I did. I just didn't know how to like tell you that I was scared of those girls that were. Um, I know back then we would say punking, but now it's called bullying. Is she a survivor too? So maybe one day we'll get her. We'll like probably that invite her to, because she's also a domestic violence um, survivor. My sister too. I never went through none of that drama with the guy. Sure. I was actually the one that has put all my boyfriends through like, um, I have, so it's kind of odd here and it's kind of weird. My sister, she actually would treat her guys good and they were horrible with her and me, I used to always get like those type of guys that like are always there. They always want to hang out with me and I'm kind of like, get away. And then they get away and I'm like, come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of guy that I attract. My sister attracts like these guys that Psychotic are really things. good looking, but like they either cheat on her. Remember that one guy that was all obsessed over you? He was an owner of a certain nightclub for a certain amount, like a certain time. And this guy was like not gonna eat it, right? Yeah, yeah. We always have this on the table. Different table. Are you gonna eat it? And then we like a fat pig me acabo todo. And she tells me, I'm not hungry anymore. And we we'll just want me to like no, eat it get fat. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Well, as I'm saying, I don't know, I, I, I can't tell you I had a perfect life, but, um, so we actually both, at a different occasion, she's like pretty. we actually didn't get to, like, accomplish, my, my sister, my, dad, my mom and my dad, like, they probably did it, probably, like, over four days to have her, because look at her, she's really pretty, you know, they did her with love, me, I'm probably, like, like, the love child, I'm probably, like, got raped or a lo mejor mi mom don't say, say that I'm not pretty you know yeah. como ahorita ella está bien pretty my mom probably like probably like so hija como del male you know we're gonna get bad so we're gonna tell you she's not ugly she's not, she's not pretty she's ugly no. um so yeah we have a lot of stories that we want to talk about but uh um, that one too like who's my real dad yeah um so Which yeah, my crazy. sister, she my got, really she crazy. actually got pun, how they always say back then pun, but it's actually chased off bully her 10th grade year of high school. And she had to go to Southgate, and Southgate she dislocated her knee, which she could have sued the school, my parents could have sued the school. And she from there she went to Monterey, she was too young, from they Monterey, you, you were in 16 years. 16. From Monterey she went to Mujeres y Hombres, from Mujeres y Over, she went back to Garfield, and then she didn't like it because we had like this friend. I want to really say she, she was a friend for a certain time, but I don't know. I kind of had mixed feelings about her. Oh. Um, that one girl that I'm not gonna say her name because I don't know her current situation. Oh, yeah, the neighbor, the one friend, the one that was like our friend forever, and we went back to Garfield. Gordo. Yeah, I told you that's Gordo today. Um, yeah, so she would mistreat you, I guess, when you went back. And she waited until I went into high school. And I'm the one that actually got bullied out of high, out of Garfield. I will, my sisters tell me that I need therapy, that I have to get over that high school. I love that high school. I will forever love that high school. Um, I love Garfield. I hate, no, I didn't. I went to Roosevelt only straight for one year. 11th grade year after I stopped going way before winter form. Yes. Way before the runaway incident, I stopped going to Roosevelt. I hated Roosevelt. I heard that. The, I'm just going finish the sentence. I heard that certain guys at Roosevelt High School have a big... You guys finish that off. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, that's just what I heard. That well, a lot of guys. Um, so... I went on Earth Planet mentioned it. <laughs> um, so I'm done. Now I'm still eating. So, mm, 
I went to Roosevelt, I was miserable. I had my two told me. Make the best out of it. I went to one time for cheer there. And my sister would like teach me, like, do this, do that. How does it go again? And she's like teaching me, like, keep it right here, put the face to the side, smile, nod your head, make sure you rally. All I was doing, guys, was saying, why am I here? Why am I trying to forget? Because girls would look at me like if I was so annoying and then, and I tell them the air head moment. The coach at that time, uh, I think her name was Chewy, yeah, Chewy. She's like, right split, left split. And I gave her right split both times. I just turned around. I was a big she did it that way. And instead of doing like the split with the other leg, she just turned around. Uh huh. And like she laughed and she was like, show me your kicks with the right leg. And I was doing it with the left. And like all the girls thought I was doing it on purpose to make them laugh. And I really didn't know my right. I did not know what was right or left. My sister was had it perfect. I didn't make it. You know what I tell her? I didn't make it. I'm you know what I tell her? You know what I tell her? Skip. One day. I'm sorry. I didn't I make it to cheer. No, I rolled it out. Just that, I just get a written note. Um, check this out. My sister is really perfect. I don't care what she says. She's never going to convince me. She's perfect. Okay, yes. You're not going to eat her. She's perfect. I didn't have a quinceañera. We didn't have a quinceañera. I cried. Okay, you guys, look at If there's ever like a movie, like my like, biggest if there's movie ever a life that I suffer with that, I have a quinceañera and I didn't get to go to my home school for my four years. Oh my god, I shattered my dreams forever. Because I know, yeah, I do. I always had like a perfect life. I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> we lived in the same household and my life was totally opposite of hers. And I know a lot of people could confirm. Okay, I got bullied since I was born. Not only by family members, but also by friends. Everybody around me, my whole block, los de enfrente, los de atrás, los de lado, everybody. I don't know if everybody, anybody there out there has that, that tia. That tia that hates you. That like she's so popular porque se mira así como Laura León, that like, <laughs> Everyone bows down to her. Patty's on the lab, Laura Leon. Like, okay, that's one. <laughs> Two, I got molested by various people, like sexually, like various people. You're gonna have to talk about that book. My only friend was my cousin, my cousin Pepe. He was my friend and he would like threaten me. And he would tell me things like, you're not my cousin, you're not my favorite cousin. You're not my favorite cousin. And then he would always tell me, this is like what hurts me the ball. Forget about the domestic violence, the child abuse. It siempre me decía. He would always tell me, play baseball with me and later on we'll play Barbie. And I would go play baseball with him and the Barbie type never never would come because my mom would pick us up at three. That that hurts me the most. I've been through domestic violence. She has been through some guys, guys, that she was dating this one guy. Um, we were, okay, I'll talk about two of them. So you've been through a lot of abusive boyfriends. One of them was that one guy that I tell you that was the owner of that nightclub for a while. 